Hi kids, this is Gina from the Audubon Naturalist Society bringing you another fun book. You might be thinking, why am I sitting outside with this weird container next to me? That is my compost bin. Here, I put a lot of organic stuff that I don't need, like pear cores, grass clippings, you can put strawberry tops, even newspaper, shredded newspaper. You can also put some peels like potato peels or the parts of the cabbages that you don't like. All this is going to get transformed into good compost for the earth. So let's go ahead and read this book. Compost Two, an A to Z recipe for the earth by Mary McKenna Zittles illustrated by Ashley Wolf. Environmental Chefs, here's a recipe for you. To fix from scratch, to mix a batch of compost stew. Ingredients, apple cores, bananas bruised, coffee grounds with filters used. Dirt cloth crumbled, eggshells crushed, fruit pulp left behind, all mushed, grass clippings, hair snippings, and an insect or two. Just add to the pot and let it all rot into compost too. Safe, jack-o'-lanterns, kitchen scraps, laundry lint, from dryer traps, mulch removed from garden beds, nutshells, oatmeal, paper shreds, quarry dust, fry bread crusts, and seaweed strands, a few. Just add to the pot and let it all rot into compost too. Take tea bags plot from long hot swimmings, underbrush prunings, vegetable trimmings, weekly worms with compost cravings, Christmas tree needles, yellow pine shavings, and senior heads from flower beds whose blooming days are through. Just add to the pot and let it all rot into compost stew. Moisten, toss lightly, cover, let brew. And when the cooking is complete, Mother Earth will have a treat. Dark and crumbly, rich and sweet. Now open the pot and what have you got? Compost stew. Did you like the book? I certainly enjoy it. Compost is something all of us can do to help the earth. This was fun being with you again and see you another time.